Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 11, 7, and 6. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. In today's video, I will be showing you a flip through of Evan Moore's Skill Sharpener Science for Grade 6. Now, I am an affiliate of Evan Moore, and my affiliate link will be located in the description box down below. If you are watching this video when it posts, you should know that Evan Moore is running a buy one, get one sale for Skill Sharpeners from November 2nd to 6th of 2020, and that coupon code will be found in the description box down below. So it's a great time if you're interested in Evan Moore Skill Sharpener's workbooks to pick up one and pick up another one entirely for free. Now, Evan Moore makes Skill Sharpener's workbooks in many different subject areas, as you can see, from spelling and writing, reading, math, science, critical thinking, geography, and grammar and punctuation. They range in age from pre-K through six, so there's a whole host of different workbooks that you can look into. One of the things I like best about the Skill Sharpener's workbooks is how brightly colored they are and how easy it is to pick a topic area. So for example, in the grade six book, there are four Four different units and you can really do them in any order depending upon what you're focusing on this year. So you have unit one is organisms and ecosystems, unit two is climate and weather, unit three is plate tectonics, and unit four is energy. Within each of these units you can see that there are four subsections. So for example in organisms and ecosystems you have inherited traits, chromosomes and DNA, genetic variation, and artificial selection. So as you go through, you can really hone in on what you're interested in throughout the year. There's no reason to do this workbook in order. If you're working on energy first, for example, in your core science, you can do that. A lot of people ask me if I feel that the Skill Sharpener's books can be used as a core curriculum. I really think it depends on your own family and how you approach science. For us, we like to approach science in one full subject area for the year. So this is really more of a supplement. When we use books like this, we use it as a supplement because while organisms and ecosystems might fit in his biology year, uh, the climate and weather and plate tectonics probably don't. However, the way I view Skill Sharpener's books is not only for the core science exposure, but also for reading comprehension skills, being able to discuss the reading, being able to absorb different definitions. I really like the layout of the books. I think they're very visually attractive to children. I think that they grab your attention. If you have a child who doesn't like black and white workbooks, the same page, the same types of activities on every page, this is a great option to look into. I find that the Skill Sharpener's books are great for summer learning as well. So it really depends on your family how you would use this book. To go through it, if you look at the margin, you can see that they're all divided into different colors based on the four units. And within the margins, it actually talks about the individual subject areas within the unit. So you have our planet's interior, our changing planet, and it's easy to see what each of the page sections relates to. Here, the first unit has this green margin and it is organisms and ecosystems. So as you can see, it's about, 30 pages long or so, and every single page is varied, but they do follow somewhat of an order in their formatting. At the top of the page, you can see what the page is about. So here's reading. You have more reading pages here. Then you have visual literacy, vocabulary practice, a hands-on activity, and then application. And then you move into the next section of that unit one, which is organisms and ecosystems, and you have the same pattern. You have reading, so a few more pages of reading, visual literacy, vocabulary practice, hands-on activity, and then the application. So if we just go to the second section here, so you can see there is three pages of reading about DNA. The reading pages have these squares which hold definitions and there's always a little concept bar here in the margin where it tells you like one of the main concepts you should understand. One of the things I like about the reading selections is that they put the definition words into bold so the child can see exactly where it falls in the reading. And the exercise is also very short. It's really designed to gauge reading comprehension, not be busy work. So again, you have another reading selection and a simple labeling activity here, another reading selection, and 
a free response answer section there. In the visual literacy section for chromosomes and DNA, they go through Punnett squares. So again, you can see that the activity is very short and concise. It is not busy work in the sense that you're having someone do 10 or 20 problems of the same thing. It's really talking about a concept. And then vocab practice has a secret code here, and you might see that repeated in vocab practice throughout the book. The end of every single section within the units has a hands-on activity, which is a full lab. So if you were to use this book as your core science, you would have the labs already included. Then you have a lab for every single section of this book. So every unit has four sections. I believe you have 16 different labs, which is a very robust uh, curriculum if you are gonna use it for the year. At the end of every section, so at the end of chromosomes and DNA here, you have an application page. The application page is designed to be an essay response question. So here it's about dominant and recessive genes influencing the inherited trait of blue eyes. I actually never make my child write the essay here. We do so much essay writing in our literature studies that I like to use these application pages as an opportunity for oral discussion. So it's really up to you and your homeschool and how you do it. But as you can see, this skill sharpeners book really does a address a lot of different learning areas. So you've got this reading section, you've got vocab, you've got essay writing, all of those subject areas are folded into this science book. So keep that in mind when you are planning out your year and what you want your child to read. You don't really need a full on subject area for, for vocab if you already have vocab being studied within these workbooks. I'm going to flip through the book now just so you can see the variety of different activities that are included. But as you can see in the labs, you do have a lot of graph practice. You have visual um, representation of data. You have some exposure to diseases like sickle cell anemia, genetic modification, dog breeds. Again, this application page the reading pages. There's really good graphics in these books as well. One of the things I've done with some of our older uh, skill sharpeners workbooks after we finish them is I actually cut out some of the pages and laminate them because the pictures are actually good review. So here you're getting into the earth science section with the angle of sunlight. Again, here you have practice with graphical interpretation. Uh, here you're making your own example charts, regional climates, reading maps. You're getting that geography practice as well. Hurricane categories. The vocab practice generally is like some sort of activity like that, like a crossword or a fill in the blank. Here you have another hands-on activity where you're studying the Coriolis effect. Um, climate change, ice ages, global warming, the impact of humans, a melting ice lab, studying seismic waves and earth layers making an edible earth with liquid layers, plate tectonics, the spread of the continents, the differences in potential and kinetic energy, thermal energy and heat, electrical energy, static electricity lab. At the end of the book, you do have an answer key. I really like answer keys like this that have the pages laid out the way they are in the book. I find that it makes it much easier for students to grade themselves. And also if you have older siblings to grade younger siblings, it just makes it really easy. I generally trust my kids. I tear out all the answer keys and keep them in one binder for them at the year. And they grade a lot of their own work before they leave the table. If we do things that are oral response things, we just handle them ourselves and, you know, I just grade them as they talk. So that was Skill Sharpener Science for grade six. Now, if you are watching this video on the week that it posts from November 2nd to November 6th of 2020, Evan Moore is running a buy one, get one sale. The code for that is located in the description box down below the video. If you would use my affiliate code down below, I would really appreciate it. It helps Evan Moore recognize that I am sharing workbooks with you and encourages them to send me more to review for you. As always, you guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day.